when I took the tool off I realised that although it's tight um, you can't get the snap ring back on I don't know why that is, it looks a different colour to the ones I'm familiar with but you can't get the snap ring on, but mind you it's not going to come off is it? Anyway what we're going to do is now we're happy with that we're going to get the turn the box over we've got all this nice and clean we grab the filter the filter in here, locate in a little bush, grab the new washer out of the gasket kit, oh, that's it we were zoomed in, oh, that's a bit uh, that's a bit tighter than I would have liked. Now, why is that? This is a new one. Hmm, that's tight. Where's the old one? I washed the old one out in the parts washer. Ah, you see? See, that's how it should go. See, these are the little things you, you wouldn't know, even if I turn that upside down. No. They look identical. But that's how it should go. And then we'll just tighten up that bung. Now because this is on a fibre washer and it's only a drain bung, it doesn't have to be sort of monster tight. Because you'll split the washer. So we'll... oh, that was Jeff Fee just popped down with my book. Right, uh, the washer on these doesn't seem to be very bloody good, does it? That's out of the gasket set. Let me have a look. See, this, this is out of one. another gasket set. The problem is, you see, it's it the, the the plug is undercut under the the top thread, so it drops down like that. If it was parallel, it'd be fine. I'm not sure which one to put in. I think I'll put the crushable one in. There's two different types of washers. This has got a little bit of... Uh, it's folded over, it's a crushable washer. But this is just a regular copper washer. And what we should do is uh, always check copper washers with a magnet. If we've got one. We should have one kicking about somewhere. Ah, oh, here is one. It's not a very clean one, I must admit, but... It's just not this sort of stand. Yeah, you see, it's not it's not picking up the thing. But that's all right. It's not picking up copper. Yeah, let's use this one. What we'll have to do is just be very careful and with our fingers guide it guide it central. If you see what I mean. I'm not sure what size spanner that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I shift or shift it. next got that done that done I can't get the I can't get the ring on there I was just looking around for the old uh, sleeve oh, there it is. the old collar mm -mm. I should have measured it if it was a different thickness mind you anything anything goes with that I'm not too bothered about that thing there because on the 300 TDI's 
that snap ring wasn't there anyway so that's good so that's all right I'm happy with that um, what we have to do now is work on the cover oh and yeah I've got to work out that shim at the front that's not a big deal but what I've got it feels really nice I must admit it feels lovely but what we've got to do is um, work on that cover and get that cleaned up and ready I actually put it through the cleaner already just got to strip it down right first of all I've taken off the bolts off the high low shifter and oh my goodness gracious me what a mess in there they've, uh, they've put some grease in but uh, of course I put it through the ultrasonic and it's gone a bit manky so we're going to strip all this lot down I think yeah because it's got water in it from the uh, cleaner so that's that off now we've all I'm going to strip this down but I'm not going to film it because we've done them two or three times now and I'm getting sick of seeing it for that coronation strip uh, I've got to take these uh, 13 millimeter headed bolts off here then we can get into this section but before we do that we're going to whip out this big spring while we've got something to hold them to um, well for that we'll need a screwdriver not that one, that's too big mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what have I done with that? Um, well I'll we'll use that one we've just got to force off these springs off the side like that and then with our 10 mil see if we can get this bolt out of here there we go this is a very special washer on here it's like a double chamfered so you can't put it upside down but it's to go against the swivel go against the ball in here now why I'm taking it to bits is there a little o-ring in here and what can happen is oil can get splashed and come out of here uh, and make a right mess so let's take that to bits right with those bolts out of there oh, that's tight what the hell that down with I should be able to get this stripped down um, I'll have to use the old dismantling tool again, I think. Get between that gasket. Come on, get in there. In. There you see there's there's a bit of water in there. I wanted to strip it down anyway. Just looking at the the mess in here, look you see. There's grease and all sorts of stuff, but that bush looks okay. But we're gonna take it all apart. Yeah, it was siliconed as well. So I'm gonna scoop all that lot out. I've warmed up the uh, <coughs> the parts cleaner and we'll strip all this lot down and make sure it's going to be okay. Now, this piece here should just drop out. Now beware, there's a, there's a spring in here somewhere. There it is. There's the little spring look. And it's on a ball. Again, we'll put that through the cleaner put it through the cleaner the first time just to take the exterior rubbish off there isn't all that much more to take off on there um, that's all you're going to get but like I say that is full of rubbish now to get that out we've got to take that allen bolt out of there undo this plug here knock that, knock that pin out of here I don't know if you can see it very well can you see that one? There's a, there's a little roll pin in there and then that shaft will sort of come out the end. To take the end out, that's 
easy enough, wasn't it? And then we'll find the tool to knock that pin out. Oh, I'll tell you what we're going to have to do. Take off this reverse. So we take off the uh, reverse plunger. Don't lose the shims. Right, now that will allow that to tip. That will go further this way. Which will allow us to get a, a punch in there and punch that pin out. I wonder if it's the same size as the... Uh, main shift. Probably. And the answer is yes, but perhaps it's the other way we need to take it out. How on earth are you supposed to get that pin out of there? It comes when you knock it out, it comes against the casing. It's very easy to get in. Or oh, maybe you can get some pliers in there and just pull it out with a pair of pliers. Uh, pliers, 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 pliers. We put a new pin in anyway. That's tight. There we go. So that's off there. That will move out of there. Now, crucial. Remember which way it went on. The main body of this goes towards the front of the car, like that look. Don't forget that. Put that with a pin. Now we have to get that out of there. Well I can use my brand new sockets couldn't I? Let's go and fire them up. Knowing these covers as I do, even though there's a plastic bush in there, we've got a nice, uh, what size is that? That's five millimeter, a nice snug fit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up the housing because it's quite possible to put Loctite on there and you'll fight against the Loctite rather than the tightness of the bolt. the greasy. There you go. <laughs> Forewarned is forearm. And that now should come out like that. That might be a bit heavy so we'll put that to one side. Now we can take the shaft out like that, and there is the o-ring. Now, I was going to put this through the parts washer first, but for now I can get access to get all that pooey grease out without contaminating my uh, machine. Ugh. Lovely jubbly grease. Ugh. Nice, so we'll get rid of that. That's why I use a lot of paper towel rather than rags. I'll finish off cleaning the worst of this off and then we'll clean all these parts and then we'll reassemble them.